welcome back. Um, this is part two and the final part of the tutorial series on how to make an Android game in Blender. So uh, let's get into it. So last time we uh, made our game using the Blend for Web add-on and exported it as a tutorial.html. First thing we're going to need to do, one second, um, is we're going to need to upload it to a server of some kind on the internet. I'm going to be uploading it to my website, so um, I'll just, if you're, I'm using WordPress for my website, so um, you, if you have like a WordPress site or something, you can do this. Um, Agent will also work, and yeah, so you'll just want to click the tutorial.html and then click open, but I, for the purposes of this tutorial, it takes a little while to upload, so I already uploaded it. I've got it right here. So next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the link to it. So this is the link mine is at. Control C to copy that, and um, we will then, um, just in case, I'm going to open up a text file and just paste it in there. Now I would like to show you what the app is going to look like in the end. So if I can check the other cache. Okay, so here's my. Um, device and um, so if i was to go to my i mean in my es file explorer to my downloads folder there's this tutorial.apk right here so i would tap it and i can install it or i could send it to the android market and so yeah but um i already installed it for the purposes of this uh, video so in here, if I go to the side, here's the tutorial that tutorial icon with uh, with the icon I gave it. So if I tap this, it opens up this, and there's a play button here. I tap the play button, and the game runs. Give it a second; it will load. It, it there we go. All right, and so we have our game here. We can look around, and these are. And if you tap the Q, it goes off into the corner. These are just some options. They don't actually do anything. So you can like share your game on Google, on like Google Plus and Facebook or Twitter. So this is useful. There's also a 3D mode and a VR mode for those who use like Google Cardboard or some kind of virtual reality something or other. I don't really know how it works, but yeah. Uh, It's pretty cool. So um, this is the uh, this is what our final game will look like. And so yeah, I will switch back over to the computer. There we go. Okay, now that we're back at the computer, I'll just adjust my microphone a bit. Go. All right, so we've copied the link over to this txt file. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open the MIT App Inventor and make our uh, game work. So um, here's the MIT App Inventor. Um, I'll post a link to get it in the description below. You're going to need to sign in with a Google account. So um, if you're uncomfortable with doing that. Um, Sorry if this tutorial is probably useless for you. And what you'll need to do is uh, use Android Studio, find some code online, and some other stuff like that. So, um, let's just, I've already got a file here, from. so I tested this out first. Um, we're going to say start new project. We're going to call this project name, I'm going to call mine uh, tutorial2. Oh, you can't contain spaces on tutorial 2. Okay. So tutorial 2 is here. It will automatically open up with this interface. So um, this is pretty good. We got the like display designer, the blocks, um, the screen here. Uh, so let's um, work this. So we're going to want to name our screen something like uh, to the name of your game, we'll call it. So I'm going to be tutorial two, and then 
down here, write the version that your game is in. So this will be for the Android market. Version name, code, I'm just going to leave it at one. Title, visible. Uh, sizing, that, I'll leave it at fixed. Um, show status bar. I will decheck that. And so right here we've got our emulator. So we're just fixing up the settings right now. Scrollable, no. Uh, screen orientation, slide. Default works. And so we're going to want to upload an icon. So I'm going to upload a file, choose file. And I'm going to grab an icon from my computer. I'll use this grid here. I don't know if this server, this can actually run GIF, so I hope it can. You know, I'm just going to play it safe and not worry and upload a JPEG, like this JPEG here. Okay. Okay, so that can't upload that. Um, I will upload the this background JPEG thing here. Okay, so it'll upload it to the App Inventor server. It's here. I will set my icon to background.jpg. Okay, and that's done. So I'm gonna make. We can make a background image now, or something else. So. I'm gonna leave my make not bad a background image and just make my background. We'll make my background cyan. No, we're gonna make yes cyan. So the app name is tutorial two, like we named it. Um, I'll leave these at where they are. About screen. We don't need to worry about about screen. But we do need to change our screen name. Screen. Okay, we got click the screen here, and then I'm gonna right click. Let's just make our screen. So we got tutorial two. Yeah, okay, this works. Um, what we're going to need is we're going to need some extensions and stuff over here. So um, we're going to need a button for a start. Uh, I'm going. We're also going to need a. Let's go. Just a second, we need to find it. I'll, I'll let you play around with this, with this if you want to make your menu more interesting. Going to need a web uh, property and an activity starter. So yeah, this is what we've got here. So um, we're going to need to do a few things. For start, I'm going to change my button. Uh, my button's going to be orange, and it's going to fill parent height and the width is also going to be a fill parent uh, it covers my whole screen and actually on the height I'm going to de-check and go back to automatic okay there we go and it's going to the text for button is going to say play game how about so you can play around with this uh, the image, there isn't going to be no image. Uh, see what happens if I was to do this. Okay, yeah, no image. Okay, here we got it, and um, I'm going to bolden my font italic now. Um, the font color is going to be, I'll make my font color blue. There we go. It's just going to look out. Nice. Okay. And so now we're going to need to uh, make it so that when this button starts, it gets our U an activity starter gets our URL from web one here. So we're going to want to start by going to the blocks editor. Okay, so um, on, in the blocks editor, we're going to want to click our button here. And so we're gonna, these are like the kind of like logic bricks and stuff like that in Blender or the nodes, but it's kind of like we call, we call them blocks. So we're gonna wanna win button one, click, and then we're gonna have it do some stuff. So um, we're going to want to um, grab our activity starter here, grab something from our activity starter so that we, um, when the activity starter is 
So set act, uh, we're going to need the data URI. Set activity starter one, which is the name of our activity starter, data URI, and then it's going to be two. So we're going to just plug that in under here. And then make a little sound. And so we're going to also, we're going to need now, we're going to go back to our designer, check our web here, and grab our URI, URL here. Control C. And we can close this, we no longer need it. Control P, the URL there. Alright, so um, I'm going to say allow cookies and save response. That doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to go back to the blocks and we're going to go back to our activity. No, we're going to go to the web one and we're going to need to get a URL, web one use. No, wait, no, this is the wrong one. I'm going to trash this. Uh, this one, URL. So just plug that in there. And now we're just going to need to call the activity starter. So select the activity starter. And we're going to need to call acti start activity. And plug this in the bottom. So that is really all you need to do in here. So there's one more step. We're going to need to go to the activity starter and uh, to implement something. So um, it's pretty easy, but we're going to need to type in a command in here. So the com this may see sound a bit weird, but it's kind of like code, you could say. So A N D, no caps. Droid, Android. Dot. In. Tent. Dot. Action. Oh, I will cover that. Increase the resolution of the video if you can't not see that. Dot capital V I E W. So Android dot intent dot action dot view. There we go. That's all we need. And so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to hop back to our phones and test this out using our um, using an app for the MIT App Inventor. So, um, in a second, we are going to uh, hop back to our video capture device. Second, I'm going to make this larger so you can see. There we go. One second. I'm in. And now what we're going to need to do is we're going to want to go to the Google Play Store. And we're going to want to look up, up here, MIT App Inventor. And we're going to want to get the MIT AI2 Companion. And so this is here. Oh, mine's outdated a little. Whatever. So w once you've got this installed, back to your home screen and open it. So um, now we're going to uh, hop back to the monitor. So back on the monitor, what we're going to want to do is go to the top. Um, select image two and move it over a bit. Under connect here. We're going to grab connect and we're going to go down to the AI companion. Like this and we've got this code here. So you're just going to want to type this code into your phone or scan the QR code. So we go back to our video capture device. Um, so this is my device. And in here, I'm just going to type the code. So my code is J N P C V N. And, and then I just tap done. Connect with code. J-N-P-T-V-N. 
Okay, connect with code. Come on. Okay, so um, what's probably going on is my is outdated. So I'm going to update. You're going to if so. I'll update mine. Accept. Install the app. Application. It, it it will be a very short download. Okay. The second, it's installing. Come on. Okay. Now I'm gonna open it. And we're going to, we go back to the monitor, and I'd go to connect, uh, reset connection, AI companion, is the code, type this code in. So I'm going to go back to my video capture device, and I'm going to type in the six character code. So my code is Z, M, uh, this time, actually, it's different. So J, O, uh, Q, X. So I tap done. Connect with code. Should be connecting. OK, here it is. Here's our game. So I tap play game. It opens up the web browser where our game is. And we've got our game here. Right here. We can look around, and if we tap the cube, it moves off into the distance. So we know our app works now. So I'm going to hop back to the computer, and we're just going to finish up. So I'm just going to close my com AI companion. Second, uh, just close that, and we're back to the computer. Okay. So our app works. So we're going to want to get project um, save project. That way, it saves our project. And then we're going to want to hit tap build. Oh, I'll move this over. Build, and then uh, you can provide a QR code to the APK or save at save dot APK to my computer. So the APK is the Android installer. So I'm going to say save APK to my computer. This will come up, and it will build the APK and save it to my computer. Now, um, I just want to say, I know this isn't the best way for making an Android game in Blender, but it's what we could have. It's pretty limited. And um, the only reason this is possible is thanks to the Blend for Web people. So big shout out to them. Um, they're amazing. Um, so I'm going to open up my file explorer. I'm going to go to my downloads folder, and the, AP, the tutorial 2.apk here is here. So now you would go onto your web browser, open a new tab, and close my apology there. I can de-check image 2. There we go. OK. So basically now what we've got here is um, so we'd uh, look, go to uh, developer.android.com. So here's the developer.android.com. And um, go to, let's see, developer console up in the corner here. So here's, it would open up this. And basically, it would you'd pay a registration fee, to, and it would. Um, congratulations, you're into that. So yeah, so that's how you'd get onto Google Play. Um, link in the description. And so now that you have your tutorial, that okay, let's test it out on my phone. So 
I'm going to tap copy. And I'm going to, I've got my phone plugged in. So I'm going to go to this PC, Nexus 4, internal storage. And I'm just going to put it in my downloads folder. If I can find it. Download. Okay, I'm going to paste it into my downloads folder. Click here. And we're going to go back to my phone. So it's a little disorienting. I'm working on two screens. That I have to adjust the settings a lot. So um, if I go to my ES file browser, or if you uploaded it to Google Play, you go to Google Play. Go to my download folder. We got a tutorial 2.apk, and I'm just tap install. I'll use my package installer. Uh, it'll tell you the privacies. It'll probably ask for the internet connection. Because of what we, um, yeah. So it's going to be installing. Okay, now I'm going to open it. And so we got our game here. It's play game, it's called Tutorial 2, and I tap play game. It opens up the link to our game. The game runs using WebGL. And I can full screen it or go into even go into VR mode or 3D anaglyph. And we can look around. And so you play around with the web, Blend for Web plugin. So you can like uh, lock the camera to a certain view, not have this free view mode. And if I tap the cube, it moves off into the distance over there. So that is that. Um, congratulations if you've made it this far. That is how to make an Android game in Blender. So congratulations. This is that. This is how you do it. And so if I look through my apps list, I've got tutorial two right here. It opens up. We're all good to go. So, that is how you do that. So, yeah. Um, I, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Um, let's try to go for a few likes. And um, see in the next tutorial. Suggest what tutorial you want me to make next. And uh, share the video if you can. So, um, I'm Conder Heidi. And... Uh